There you go. Re record it. All right, let's get it. We do not have to be in competition with one another. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can achieve uh, anything that you want to do and uh, connect with other people and let's let's push each other forward. Because one thing is for you, one thing is for me. We don't it's not a competition. It's about kingdom business. When when mm -hmm. when you get the opportunity to push somebody else, uh you're going to win. Uh it's simple. Uh you take one person and you push them and wherever they go, you're going to go with them. Yes, I so love it's that. It's hard for you to you know, don't be afraid to cheerlead somebody else or promote somebody else's product because guess what? You're going to always go where that person goes. You're not trying to copy them. You're not trying to be a part of what they're doing. You're just promoting what they have to offer. And at the same time, it's like people in return will promote your stuff. So, you, that's, you know, that's brand advocate. We're going to get into all of that. So, gonna... but Hey, let's get into it. Let's do it. Yo, go. <laughs> okay, so um, if you would just comment, and, and and just tell me if you know what branding is. Uh, if you would just put a comment up there, say yes, no, uh, you got an idea. It, branding is is a, a aspect of your identity. It's not your product. It's not. It's who you are. You are the brand. Uh, the identity of the brand falls under uh, the logo. The the, the color scheme, uh, the typeface, the font. Uh, branding has a bunch of different aspects to it, but tonight I'm just gonna talk about a couple. Uh, I got my notes right here. So we're gonna talk about uh, brand advocate, which I just mentioned. We're gonna talk about brand awareness, uh, brand loyalty, and then we're gonna talk about uh, product design, just a brief little bit about product design, and then rebranding. Uh, Brand Advocate, I'm going to start at Brand Advocate because it's simple. Brand Advocate is basically a person that uh, promotes your product or your service or your business. Uh, when you go to Walmart and you find uh, a good brand of bread, you share that with friends on Facebook, family members, uh, you know, people that you know that, hey, I just got a, this bread is awesome. You're sharing that. You become an advocate for this company not knowing it because you're promoting them. Now they don't pay you to do this. You're just doing it unaware that you have become a brand advocate. So what you want to do is, is you want to create a product. You want to have a service. You want to have a, 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 a business that creates brand advocates because you have good services. You have uh, good products. You want people to promote you. Guess what? That saves you time. That saves you resources. So you don't have to spend as much money advertising and marketing because you have people on the ground who are advocates. They love your product. They love uh, your customer service. They love how you do business. They love how you, uh, you ship. Uh, for example, I ordered this shirt from uh, a good friend of mine, Clifton Graham. Graham. And I tell you, I ordered a shirt. It felt like I ordered a shirt on a Monday but I got the shirt on like Wednesday and I'm just like, well, how did he get the shirt shipped so fast? But I liked that. And the product was good. I, I, you know, shout out to him. The product was good, but uh, it was about the efficiency of going on the line online to his website. It was functional. It functioned well. It, it you know, smoothness, it flowed. I, it was an easy shopping process. Uh, that's all included in brand identity. You want to make it as simple as possible for people to be able to see your product, share your product, uh, experience your product. That, that's what branding is about. They want to experience. They want to remember it. And when they remember it, that goes into brand awareness. Now, if I'm going too fast, let me know because I'm just, I'm just kind of flowing right now. Um, branding has a lot to do with your logo. I've seen a lot of logos. I've seen a lot of designs. Uh, one of the things that I want to get into is what is a logo? What does a logo look like? Uh, a logo is what you see. Uh, there's two types of logo. There's a graphic logo and then there's a word logo. Uh, one of those is basically a picture. And you can have a combination of both, uh, like Walmart. Walmart has the word Walmart, but then it has the little thing that goes inside of the Walmart. Uh, then you have uh, McDonald's. So you got the M and then you've got the McDonald's. Those are logos. Uh, a lot of times I see people with uh, 
cartoon characters that somebody created and they use that as a logo, you're going to run into a problem because it's not something that's easy to recognize. It's not something that's simple for people to remember it uh, because so many people are doing it. Uh, you want to focus on your logo. Logos can be expensive depending on who you go to, but logo is part of your brand identity. Your brand identity consists of various elements of your morals, your values, who you are, uh, how you think. Uh, then when you think, think about branding, you also have that psychology aspect of it when you're dealing with colors. Different colors invoke different feelings. Uh, green is more known for healthcare and uh, being natural. Uh, so you got BP, you know, BP's green. Uh, you got a uh, green giant that's green. It's more natural. It's more healthy. Uh, it's resources. You, you know, you're talking about different elements. Red is a more passionate uh, color. So uh, 1301 is based on red. Uh, and, and so each color represents something different. And when you get into the branding and the logos and the different things of that nature, you will learn that your brand represents something. So, uh, for example, the NAACP, their, their colors are uh, navy blue, gold, and white. Now, that scheme goes across the whole platform for even the smaller uh, uh, organizations within the big corporate organization. They all kind of stay the same. Uh, they may have different uh, website looks or whatever, but the, the overall colors are uh, gold, blue, and white. Now. We're gonna talk about uh, brand loyalty. Once again, brand loyalty and brand advocate are similar. The difference between brand loyalty and brand advocate is the brand advocate is someone who's promoting you. Uh, brand loyalty means that I'm strictly buying from Ber Bernice Lohman. That, that's, I'm not buying from nobody else. So you have uh, brand loyalty when it comes to gasoline. You have uh, brand loyalty when it comes to a certain brand of clothes. Some people will only wear uh, Gucci. Some people only wear Prada. Some people only, that's brand loyalty. They, don't, they won't, no matter what's going on in the market, they're gonna stay within the realms of this person or this business or this service because they like something about that business. They like something about that service. Um, then you have uh, rebranding. Rebranding is basically taking your brand, your logo, or your tagline, uh, and revamping it. Basically, you're just revamping it. You might not change the color scheme, but you might change the tagline. I went from 1301 Productions, Creative Concepts for Creative Clients, to Inform Connect Build. This happens over time when you start noticing that you offer a different service or you're going for a different uh, target market. You want to attract different type of people. These are little small things that you do along the way. And it happens over time. It's not you don't want to keep rebranding and then you lose your identity of who you are. Uh, it's hard to maintain your identity if you keep changing it. So for example, let's just say Bernice had Loman, uh, Loman Creative Services and she changed the color scheme. Nothing really changed about the name, she just changed the, the color. So it's still a recognizable brand, but she changed the color. That's part of rebranding. Or you change the typeface, the typeface of the font. You may change a few things like that. So there's different aspects to branding. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to to email me at info at 1301productions.com. I'll be more than happy to explain more. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it back over to Bernice. Any questions? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, great, great, great. And um, we're gonna we're gonna tag team. So he's definitely going to uh, discuss more. Um, but I love how you talked about the brand identity, your logo being your identity, brand um, loyalty. Uh, anybody have any questions, by the way, or comments? Please comment and comment your questions now. Um, I'm. I have. I have a. I will, well, yeah, I have a question. So let's let's talk about we see you you mentioned you touch on about the logo right what if there's right. a person who they're 
they're attached to their logo because I do have clients that they're they they won't rebrand like with their logo like they really attach maybe someone uh that they really um are close to design it or maybe they did it and so with the expenses of totally rebranding because there's an expense to rebranding once you rebrand there's your cars you have to redo there's a website at ed, uh, um editing you know everything right. so what so, advice would you so, give in that so let me jump right into that because i love that question that was a great great question when you talk about rebranding now, first, let me say this. Uh, if you missed the uh, pre-registration uh, live stream, Bernie said something that was super excellent, and we're going to use that. You have to count the cost. Uh, that is huge. Entrepreneurship is not for the weak. You have to count up the cost of every single thing that you're doing. When you're talking about branding, when you're talking about logos, you can go get somebody to do your logo for, you know, $50, $85, you know, uh, but real branding, real logos, they cost anywhere between five to 12, some three, you know, uh, the state of Tennessee here where I met, they paid somebody, I would believe it was a hundred thousand or something like that to do a logo. And it was, to me, it was a simple logo. It was a circle with uh, some stars in it, but they have the budget for that. You have to find out, what budget you're willing to allocate to get your brand, your product, your business, or your service out there. It is important that you get your brand, your product, or your service out there, but you have to do it in steps. And so a lot of times I tell uh, my clients and potential clients that you don't want to rush through this process. You want to take your time. And I know everybody wants to get their services out there. They want to get their business out there. They want to get their business cards. And, and this is the thing. Yes, you can go to Vista Print. Yes, you can get JoJo to make you some business cards. But this is the thing. You want to give somebody your best. You want to give somebody your very best because this is your first impression and your last impression. So, yes, you can go to Vista Print. I'm not knocking Vista Print. But this is what I'm saying. Does the quality of Vista Print's business card stand up to a custom business card. Uh, you have to ask yourself, how far are you willing to go? Uh, are you gonna count the costs? To move right on to uh, the logo and somebody that's attached to the logo. Here's the thing, the logo, the brand, you are the brand. So uh, Bernice is the brand. She is, wherever she goes, she, she represents the brand, okay? Wherever I go, it's 1301, I am the brand. But this is the thing, you have to know that the brand is not based on you emotionally or, or physically or how you feel about the logo. It's about the uh, perception or the perspective that other people see it in. So yes, you can keep, you, you attach to this logo that, you know, I'm using the name Jojo, that Jojo made. You attach to it, you really like it. It's, it's glittery and all of that stuff. And it's fancy, you got the little fancy curves in it. But does that logo transition well to a t-shirt? Does that logo transition well to a hat? Can that logo be put in a corporate atmosphere? How would it look in a corporate atmosphere? So when you're talking about that logo and the, and the branding, yes, you could be attached to it, but this is the thing. It's not about you. It's about the perspective of other people and how they see it. So you have to take that in consideration. How do you want that's brand identity. How do you want to be seen? When, when you, people share your stuff on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, on uh, Snapchat, or wherever you share your stuff, how do you, how does people perceive what you're putting out there? Uh, again, Bernie's mentioned that uh, we talked about the website that I went to. This is no lie. I was on this guy's website, and I don't even remember what the website was, but I clicked on it. And when I clicked on it, I think I did about two scrolls and I just kind of was like, you know what? I'm about to get up. It, it was just, there was no functionality. There was no, no introduction. There was no layout. There was no, uh, the colors were all over the place. Uh, I think he had like uh, three or four different products and I'm not knocking what he's trying to do, but sometimes it's best to take baby steps and before you jump out there, because remember, whatever you put out there, people are able to see it instantly. 
So uh, I think he had like a book on there. Then he had like a mixtape. Then he had a T-shirt. And like, wait, I, I don't even know what's the foundation of this. What are you building? Like, uh, this is something. If you're serious about it, you need to take your time and, clarity. and, and really clarity. Yes, you, you you need to focus on the actual steps that it takes to create a successful uh, business, a successful brand, a successful uh, service, because people are going to remember that based on your brand identity. When you think about mm. Walmart, you go back to Walmart and it's in your head. I think I gave this um, analogy the last time and I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. you're in your, you're in your house and, and you're watching the, the latest sports game or, you know, uh, 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 the Game of Thrones or whatever, right? And a Burger King commercial comes on. Watch this. The Burger King commercial comes on. You see the food. You'd be like, man, that look good, right? They show it. It's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That 30 seconds is now in your mind, right? When you're driving in to, for the rest of the weekend, you go to work. When you're like, I'm about to go get some lunch. The first thing you think about when you smell that flame bro burger, is Burger King. You don't associate it with McDonald's. You don't associate it with Arby's. You associate it with Burger King. You're going straight to Burger King. That is brand. That's part of brand identity. That's part of uh, product design. They they make it to where the, the cheese is melting off of the burger, and you you looking like man, that look good. That's that's a strategy. That's a marketing strategy to push it so that it's in your mind at all times. I got to get something for Burger King. I got to get something for Walmart. So these are different aspects that you have to take in consideration. And I'm going to go back to what I said. Are you willing to count up the cost to really get your brand, your product, your business, or your service out there? I'm going to send it back to you. Mm. That's good. That's good. Any questions, guys? Y'all put these comments in uh, and put these questions in. Let me say this, too, and I'm glad you answered that. Now, um, I personally rebranded my logo to something simple. At first, my first symbol, when I first uh, started, uh, the logo was a, it was an African tree. And I see, I still believe that I would use that eventually because I'm already connected in Africa, in Kenya. But okay. when I realized, yeah, but when I realized at first that I had to transition it so it can be more universal, that did it for me and it's simple you guys can see i have a simple simple logo right um but it's universal and it's where i know god was taking my business now i want to share this with those who are listening there may be a point in your business that or ministry those who are in ministry uh it may be a point in your ministry and your business that you may need to revamp and even if you're not revamping your your logo right you can also as far as a website is concerned maybe you don't have the big budget for a website but you can do a landing page absolutely, absolutely. yeah you can do you could do a landing page one of the things i did for uh the marketing campaign handbook mm -hmm. is i did a um i did a landing page which allow me to capture tons of emails that I can later stay in connection with my clients or potential clients, those who were interested in marketing, right? And right. then uh, and then I was able to, not just with that, but even with the upcoming book, live stream handbook, I created mm -hmm. a, um, a, a landing page. Now that was the purpose. Now my purpose was, it was sales. It was book sales, right? You have to have an agenda and a strategy of why you do what you do, right? Uh, I share that in my book, Marketing Camp Campaign Handbook. It's, a, it's about strategy too. Mm -hmm. You can have a landing page and you can also have a website. It's, a, it's, your, it's, it's about strategy, what you're wanting to do, you know, mm -hmm. what's your purpose? And you can, you can shift your brand with the timing with the timing of your business 
for That's instance, true. yeah, like if your services change or uh, there's a change in the market, like right now I had to shift even more, although I was doing technology workshops, but even now I've had so many clients that say, okay, we definitely need no social media now more than ever. We definitely need websites more than ever. So I had to even shift with my scheduling, my schedule uh, appointment page. Things had to shift. I had to open up more days on my, on my calendar for the shift. So you, ha you can rebrand your website even for the change of time, knowing to shift, knowing to shift and, and really knowing, okay, I've shifted. What do I need to change with my website? That's don't, make, that. uh, don't uh, start making me write notes, okay? <laughs> no, I, literally. <laughs> no, seriously, it. because we, I think we, we think because we, we got a website that that's it. Like after the website is created, then yes, that high apostle is with us. Shift your brand according to the demand. I love it. That's yeah. it. Shift your brand according to the to the demand. I love that. Um, for those who don't know, while you're chatting, you actually have the option to select all panelists. You, your comment can go to all of us, just the panelists, the host, Juma and myself, or it can go to all the attendees and the panelists so everyone can see. So if you guys hear us chatting with someone, they actually chatted to us as a panelist and not everyone. So we're not talking to ourselves. <laughs> we're not, um, <clears throat> I see, yeah, I see the comments that came in through the um, all, all panelists. And Stacy says, if you have a host already for your website, do you advise possibly going to another host who may offer more? Mm hmm <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in that now. I have a client who he's trying to decide. He wants to keep. He didn't want the. He he didn't want the, the process. There is a process when you switch from hosts. It's a few steps, uh, about three or four, that you have to have a key. You have to have a security code, um, to make sure that the 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 person who owns the that domain gives you the right to let go of that domain and to move it over. So there is a process. I'm in that now with a client because Loma Creative Services, I had to toot my own little horn, thank you God. Loma Creative Services does, as a host, does offer more uh, as a hosting company than, their, than the company that they're with. Uh, yeah. So it is, a, it is a two, three step process. And so there, because of that purpose, you do have clients that may feel like, uh, I. I, I don't want to go through that. But I mean, if you own the domain, it's, it's really no brainer. Like to save your cause, if the yeah. hosting company um, owns, I mean, not owns it, the hosting company um, has more options for you. I mean, mm -hmm. why not? You know, why not? Um, and Dominique says, is a landing page similar to something like a Google business website? No, actually, a Google business website is not a landing page. Um, a Google business website, I'm glad you said that because a Google business website allow, is Google. It's, it's searchable online where a landing page, when someone is searching like SEO uh, or any other website, it doesn't even have to be Google business website any website is searchable versus a landing page right. when someone is searching for it it's not searchable on the news feed i mean it's on the on the search engine like google yahoo bing those search engines um that's the only key and I, I actually have a page i talk about that in my book marketing campaign the reasons why you would do a, a landing page versus versus a um a non-landing page and i recommend a landing page is good but ultimately because of seo purposes please do get a regular website that way you are more searchable uh if you're doing blogs or anything that's related to seo where people are searching it can be found on those search engines versus a regular um landing page so yes uh, my husband and i use that for non-profit sports yes that's i mean that's that's perfectly um perfectly perfectly fine um and those google business websites Sites are good for especially Google. It'll come up higher uh, with because it's Google, because it's Google. Mm -hmm. um, right. And uh, but of course we 
Juminai as website designers, we know also our websites can come up higher too because it's what we do on the back end with search engine optimization. So, <laughs> you know, um, if you're looking, I, I think too, this is what I think. I think it, because it's Google, I think Google designed it to really go up on their platform that mm -hmm. is searchable on Google versus, you know, higher on Yahoo yeah. um, or Bing because their platform is Google, you know. I, although there are billions of people that search on Google, right. there's still people that search on Yahoo too <laughs> and other right. search engines. So it's it's all about what you want to do and what's your budget because you have free website builder plans um, like Wix or, or there's Googles that are free uh, websites, but then they may not show up on other platforms if you have someone who actually has designed the website and added an SEO so that it shows up on most major platforms other than Google. So it's all about your budget, what you're wanting to um, it to be used for. Juma, you look like you want to say something, but I, I think um, it's it's what you want to it to be used for. Uh, I was going to say while you were on that subject, the word that popped in my head was keyword. Yes. Yes, that's it. Elaborate. Yes, elaborate on that because that is important as it relates oh, to I'll SEO. Oh, you want me to relate? Oh, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so we're talking about search engine optimization. So that means really when someone is searching, it's something that you can add in the back end on your website that uh, would allow who's searching for those particular things say someone said earlier they are who was it um was it katara said that they were editor auditor uh i mean a author editor author i believe so yeah because she was she was one of my guests on my podcast recently so she's an okay. author she's an editor you got to check her out she's she's a she's amazing uh, so she's an editor. Okay. She's an author. So there is keywords, as he mentioned. Keywords are what those things. You're welcome. Those keywords is what those people who are searching the the potential clients, those who are searching for you, that could be added into your website. Um, you're an editor. Uh, say you are. I think you're in New York, if I'm not mistaken, Katari, you're uh, like Manhattan area. You say, yes, okay, New York editor. The keywords can be New York editor, um, New York publisher. Uh, if you want to do book club publisher. Okay, Rochester, New York. Good. Rochester. See, I got a, somewhat of a little good memory. Um, Rochester right. author, Rochester editor, uh, and not just the title of what you do. Uh, a reader, you know, because a, a reader – a writer, uh, those are some good keywords, a, a good uh, writer, um, book club, <laughs> all of those, bestseller, uh, all of those are keywords that will link you to someone searching, and it can identify that person who's searching, those are all keywords that can be tied in to a blog, um, if you're, if you're writing any type of blog, um, if you have an image, an image even on your website can be connected to uh, certain keywords, that when people are searching, that image, you know how you're searching through Google or any other search engine, and it, an image sometimes pops up as well as like a YouTube video, uh, in fact, Google search engine gives you options you can choose a, a an article you can choose a photo you can choose a, um, a, a video those are some columns that can be selected well you can even add in keywords into certain images uh, which Juma shoots photos too so you know that's uh, that's another way that can be added in uh, as far as like uh, we're talking about keywords and how that can be linked up to your website. Um, so it's all about, it's, it's, it's not just about, let me say this, it's not just about your website is up, you have it, but you want to make sure that even those back things are taken care of. Uh, and also I want to say too, uh, having an SSL certificate also is good. Uh, to have Super for important. your website. Uh, SSL certificate. Um, I share that in my book. The reason why it's so important, especially for Google, because when certain people are searching for your website, 
Google now, a couple years ago, maybe about two, three years ago, uh, they made it a mandate that if you do not have an SSL certificate, what they're do is their your website will not be higher in the news feed. I, I keep saying, I'm thinking of social media, but in a search engine. Uh, right. So while they're searching, yeah, while they're searching for, the, let's just say this, we hadn't looked at your website yet, but let's just say, Katari, you didn't have an SSL certificate and someone is searching for a Rochester, New York editor. Uh, they're looking for an editor for their book. And um, someone who is a Rochester, New York area editor that has an SSL certificate, Google will rank them even higher because they're secure than your website because you do not have an SSL certificate. So um, just those minor things that we need to look for uh, with, you know, for websites to make sure that it's, it's secure. And don't think because you're not taking payment that you don't need security because any sensitive information, if you're asking people for their name and phone number and an email address to connect with you so that you can have business or consultation that's still sensitive information that people can take find that person locate them uh, do spam emails uh, and you just want to make sure that you're compliant you want to make sure that you are you know uh, making sure that no one's information is being compromised even on a website that seems so innocent but yet people there are spammers out there you know so I think, um, and yeah, <laughs> so even just, even, even just that, and of course, look for, uh, make sure that your design is, is the color, uh, and the words so that it's not, uh, like, I like to see, uh, if there's a dark color, make the words even wider. Uh, I've seen some where there's dark black, black ground, background and dark and dark text. It's like a t-shirt. You know, I could see Juma's t-shirt really clear now because it's on a black background and now right. it's a, right. it's white words. Well, if it was kind of like dark gray words or dark black words, I couldn't hardly see it from a standoff. Uh, so you just, just those simple things that it may seem so simple yet a person can miss it and a potential person, a potential client, right. a new client coming on, a, on your website, uh, not someone that your cousin and them or someone who they know you. So they're, they're going to find it. They're going to search all over because they want to do business with you. But a person, a potential person who does not know you, never heard of you, they went searching, they found you. Uh, you want to make sure that they stay there. The attention span is eight seconds or less. So you got literally eight seconds or less to capture your client and make sure that you'll, this may be simple, but I'm telling you, listen to me, listen to me really good. Make sure that the information is accurate, is, is new. Like if you had, yeah, make sure that the information is, yeah, if you got new services, you, you should have new services on there. You got a new event, your new event should be on there. Um, I, I share this story and I'm, I'm going to share this, uh, especially for those who are in ministry, because this literally happened. A good colleague of mine, she's a business colleague, and uh, she was sharing how there was one client, uh, there was one, um, there was one, uh, it was a new member. There were new people, visitors that found a ministry online and they wanted to visit the church. They literally was just searching to bless a ministry. And uh, they went to the web, they went to the website and the church had the wrong, the wrong time on the website. They changed their time, but it didn't change it on the, on the website. So the people came the wrong time. Yeah. They had church already. And so the people came and they left and went to another church and found that the people that they went to the new church, they donated $10,000 to that church. <laughs> so I was like, are you kidding me? Like that, that alone, you'd be surprised at people who are wanting to do business with you, but, or be a blessing, but just, they need to know you know where are you where are you located what times have you changed your time um especially during the COVID 19 are you not accepting uh are you are you are you not in your your worship times now um you know has it shifted anything what 
any any shift i thank your apostle i see that tag <laughs> on facebook but yes you have to make sure that you are relaying that back to your website and not just your so not just your social media because it's quick we can quickly go on social media and we can post and not relay that back to an average person who's not following us on social media but yet they're searching elsewhere and they can find you um yes stacy relevance is so important problem is sometimes you don't have enough people to keep information updated in smaller ministries i totally get it and that's why one of the services, and I, I believe Juma, you offer this too, right? Well, I know one of the services that Loma Credit Services offer is website update. So we can update your website. So, oh, go ahead. I was just going to add a little interject real quick. Say oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. So listen, you have to be a, man, we had a good talk last time. So I got to interject this really quick. <laughs> okay. You have to be able to trust somebody else with your vision. I'm done. Mm. Yes, that's that's good. Yeah, you said that on the last one. Got it. She said, yes, got it, got it. Listen, and uh, uh, you mentioned that. That was like a mic, a mic drop when you, the last live we did, like trusting people, giving them that authority too, even if you don't have enough people, you know, connecting with people such as Juma, uh, who's excellent with, you know, websites and website updating, you know, connecting with people who you have to outsource. If you don't have the people, you outsource. And uh, creative, go ahead. Uh, creative, uh... Creative control is the word we use. Yes, that's what that's it is. Creative control. You have to be willing to give creative control to somebody that understands your vision, that you trust with your vision, and that that are will that is willing to uh, walk you hand in hand. Let's walk together on this journey to help you be successful. I think that's you know I know a lot of different creatives, but I think that what makes Bernie stand out and what makes me stand out is the uh, ability to walk people. You're not just, you know, doing the service and then, you know, all right, I'm a college. No, you walk them through the process. Uh, really quick, I got a shout out. Uh, my client, she was here. I don't know if she's still here. Arena, she's down in uh, Florida. Uh, the Mink brand. Uh, I do all her photography for her products. Uh, very good woman very strong brand and she's building. Um, I think that it's important that she allowed me to be creative. She really did. She allowed me to be creative with the photos. So it makes a huge difference. You can go on my website and see the photos, www.1301productions.com. You can see the photos, completely different look because you got a different perspective. Listen, when I got with Bernice, that was a God gift because she allows me to, uh, you know, produce my, introduce my perspective, but at the same time, she gives me feedback, like, what if you do it like this? And I'm like, you know what, that is right. So you gotta be willing to trust somebody else because sometimes you don't have the necessary tools to produce what it is that you're trying to produce. So it's okay to step back and say, you know what, I'm going to trust this person. Now, I'm not saying you got to trust any and everybody. You need to pray about that thing because you're talking about a vision that God gave you. You know, uh, this is not something to play around with because you're going to go to the next level when you connect with the right person. When God connected me to Bernice, you know, we, 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 we become good friends and we, we conversate and we talk about different things. Uh, a business, we talk about family. It's, it's about a relationship. When you get a creative person, as such as Bernice or myself, you want to build relationships, even in business. You want to you want to build relationships with the customers. You want to build relationships with people, vendors. You want to. It's not just a hey and a buy. You want to build relationships because you don't know how that person can help you later down the road. Again, creative control is super important. Don't be afraid to give the right person, the right individual, who has the same agenda. Is seeing you be, be successful, successful as much as they become successful, then you can work together. Uh, a lot of a lot of ministries fail because the leaders want to be the only one with the vision. Well, Pastor, you don't know how to do graphics, so it's it's hard for you to you 
you want to be in the pool pit and you want to do the graphics, you want to do the, the video too, and you know, give somebody else the opportunity. That's a platform. Allow somebody else to be able to utilize the gift that God gave them. And it's not going to, you know, put your ego to the side. Allow the creative to be creative. Uh, allow the speaker to be the speaker. Uh, sometimes you don't have to be the, the center of attraction to get stuff done. I know uh, one of the things I was going to say earlier, and I'm not going to be on here talking, but I just be stuff. Another thing that I noticed, and I'm not knocking anybody who may be watching, so don't take this personal. Uh, I'm going to use myself. I'm going to step on my own toes. Uh, before, I used to put uh, 1301 Productions, Creative Concepts, Creative Clients. I'm a videographer, photographer, graphic design, web design, social media. Listen, that's a lot. And I'm stepping on my own toes. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff for people to remember because it's so many different. It's broad. Like, okay, I need a web design, but he do all these other things. Can he handle my business? Can he handle what I'm, what I got going on? So I condensed all of that down and changed it into creative director because I direct by being creative. Okay, let's not use this backdrop. Let's use this backdrop. You know, uh, so when you say creative director, that means I cover that broad range of things into one title. And I said that to say a lot of people have multiple titles and people get lost in titles. So we got to be careful with the titles. Yes, you may be a, a pastor. You might, uh, you know, sometimes I see it in ministry and I'm not just going to knock ministry. I see it in business too. But I see apostle, overseer, bishop, uh worship leader, it's like, okay, you're playing multiple roles, so it's like, it looks like you're being stretched thin, so if I need to make a call and I need a, a bishop, I'm probably not going to call you because you look like you got a lot going on. I want somebody who has the ability to focus on what I need, because I'm, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, a, it's a change, it's an interchange. Uh, you, you're talking about the relationship. Can I trust you with my, my service? Can I trust you with my my product, and I trust you with my business. I don't need you running around doing a whole bunch of different things. Uh, I know you may have multiple projects going on, but I need you to focus on what I have going on at the same time. So uh, let's be careful with the titles because sometimes, uh, Bernice mentioned it, when they go online, they type it in, they're looking for author. You got author, you know, you got writer, you got all these different things. Yes, you do all of those things. Let's find another creative way to set yourself apart. That's why I changed my name from a uh, photographer, you know, all those different things to creative director, because you know how many photographers are out there? You know how many videographers are out there? So, you know, you could get lost in the pool of all the people that's available to do this, this one service. So creative director, it prominent, it sounds professional and it, you know, I, wait, let me check, let's, let's see what this is about. So you want to find your niche in the market and you want to fine tune it. You want to tweak it. This is about tweaking your identity. I'm going to be quiet. Back to you. <laughs> All right. Love it. Love it. Any questions, guys? All right. Let's 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 get to these website reviews. I'm looking at one right now, Ms. Katara. Um, I love the color. And I see she has a PNG logo. Yeah. See, the PNG, you see the PNG uh, which is a transparent logo. She doesn't have the white um, border around it. Um, right. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's your feedback when you first see the website? Because this will be what someone would will see in the very first uh, first view. Um, uh, oh, man, you just going to throw me on the spotlight like that? The oh, first I so let's, everyone let's, else can can chat too, and we're just yeah, no. we're just chatting. I was just saying, okay. I ain't mean to throw you in a spot. Okay, so let me be quiet. I'm looking at. I mean, no, I no, actually no. like the colors. Up, yeah, I like the colors. Go back up to the top. So what I'm gonna do this is, is I'm gonna I'm just we're gonna kind of each other, and I'm okay. gonna give some insightful information, and you can you know you can kind of bag me up or say I, yeah you know, whatever. But let's do it right off the bat. Right off the bat. I feel like the photo, I think the photo could be a different photo. You understand right. what I'm saying? Why do you think the photo should be a different? Well, you, you coming from a photographer. Right. And, and that's why I'm saying visually, 
the photo could be a different photo because visually when I look at the photo and maybe everybody doesn't look like this because they're not a creative, but when I look at the photo, my, my first thought and my first sight, I went past her face to try to figure out what's that in the backdrop. Yeah. You, you, you think the background should have been blurred a little, or she could have been a more focused point as the, as the editor. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She should, the focus is about, it's about, and I don't want to mess her name up. Her name is Katara, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, what do you guys okay. think? Well, we I think too, if we could get feedback from others who are on because they're, not, they're, I don't think for most part, they're not, there are some creatives on here too. So if you get, right. I want everyone else feedback, you know, for the average, but for the average person now, they won't leave this website. It's a beautiful built website. They won't see that, sh- the is. picture, you know, uh, I'm waiting on these feedbacks. Can everyone share with panelists and attendees so I can see comments? Okay, good. Um, Ariana, can you can you change your response? We see it, but everyone else doesn't. Okay, right. somebody said they was looking at the window. They was looking at the window, so they didn't really. Okay, uh, she's LOL. Now listen, Tara, Tara, don't shoot me. Listen, I want you to be your best at, at what you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a nice layout going on. It, it looks like uh, from um, uh, the functionality of it, you're scrolling. Um, it's all nice. But this is one thing that I think that if you change this, I see I see Apostle said I'm not clear what service I provided. But if you change, and I agree, but uh, if you change, that well, picture. Sure. Okay. If she would change that, because look how you know, look at that's nice right there. I like that. I like it. Her client. I like that layout. I like it. I think that. Uh, yeah, that's nice. What do you think? What like? I want to hear some of the feedback from the people that's that's in the uh, webinar. Well, Apostle says, I'm not clear with what services she's she provided. A few distractions. What distraction would you say, Apostle? Okay, so um, actually, when I, my very first thought was like, okay, I really, I really like it. Like, I really like um, beyond the picture and stuff because I definitely see what you mean. Um, so she needs a professional photo. She needs a professional. Photo. She needs a professional photo, um, and I think this is. Uh, yeah, Apostle says she sees the window, so they're focusing on the window. Yeah, we all see that. Yeah. Now that I said, something, I wonder if I said something and then everybody comes like, y'all, y'all wait. Let's not. Uh, okay, I'm just saying like that's. But I'm a creative, so uh, one of the yeah. things that I want to say, being a creative, my perspective, it, it, we talked about depth. D-E-P-T-H, depth. I look within the picture because you're looking at, at uh, hold on, go down. Oh, so now I'm at Love for Words page. Here's some of her editing projects, which is good. Okay, yeah. It's not, you know, a founder. I saw, a, was that a picture of her uh, by a, no, I thought I saw a picture of a book, some books. Uh, someone says, no, I was looking at the gold grill, the books. I'm a little nosy. <laughs> what you see? You see a grill? What grill? Oh, back here in the books. Okay, so she see everything, the background. Behind her, I think, under the window. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I saw that. But she said, oh, yes, I have really- the books for sale because I'm an author. Okay. That's awesome. She has a blog. Now, oh, no, she doesn't. Let me ask you about what uh, Katara, Katara, what type of books do you edit? Like, are you into fiction, nonfiction, ministry books, spiritual books, motivational? Um, so that will be good to put on this page. What she does, like the questions you asking. That would be good. 
So that right there, that language, um, Apostle says, is she an editor of books? Yes, she is. Katara, mostly nonfiction. So yeah, just some little few changes. Like you said, mostly nonfiction, self-help, all of those um, can be uh, something that can be under here. I would like to see that like under. If, I, if I'll be your, you're my favorite editor, I want to know what you're editing. What do you, um, that will be good under there as well. Uh, yeah. So Apostle say yes, then I would like to see that. So, mm -hmm. so let me ask you a question um, as you roll it. I thought I saw a picture of her standing in front of a bookshelf or maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. She says bottom right here. That. Now if she would have put that at the top mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, did a little gradient, gradient fold uh, deal, that mm -hmm. would have been nice you know what i mean kind of you know mm -hmm. because i mean i see books mm -hmm. and i and i'll i'll be like okay she might she might write books or something but overall I mean, it's it's hey yeah okay cool 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 all right cool all right next person all right awesome thanks you guys for your feedback and i think this helps I think this helps from an average person who would just visit a website. Like, you know, Apostle has questions or say, are you welcome? She says, thank you all. Um, hey, uh, send me an email. I, I, I want to learn about your services. You see yeah. how that works? Yeah. You write, you editing books out here and stuff, you know? Yeah. Are you looking for an editor? Hey, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I show up in party. Yes. See how it works? All right, so here we have Mink. Is so we can't say nothing. I think Juma did. Did you do this, Juma? No, no, no. Oh, okay. But this is this is my people. This is my client. I do okay. all her uh, product photos. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so here we have Mink from our hands to your homes. All right, guys, let them comments come and scroll, scroll through. Um, what do you guys? What do you guys think? All right, so let me say, okay. Here, I would like to see um, I, product or service. I like to see the logo bigger. Okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to see this logo in, well, I, I guess it doesn't even have to be transparent because you have a white background on it anyway. Um, yeah, that is, that is true. What is me from our hands to, to your home? Um, well, I think the obvious, it looks like it's natural products. Um, exactly. but again, she asked though, what is mink? So I think that right here, right under mink would be something to share. Uh, but she says at the bottom, which should be at the top right here of uh, this right here should be at the top. Yes. Well, I think one, one of the things that, go, if you scroll back up, uh, uh, my sister, one of the things that I would like to say is, and I'm not being biased here, I'm just saying, uh, uh, one of the things I would like to see is a uh, more of an introductory page. I think that you're, you, you, mm -hmm. you jump right into the bulk of it, and I don't have an introductory. And I don't mean mm. necessarily long drawn out thing but kind of uh smooth me into the product the service the brand uh what it is uh because when you when you log in and you you know you type in the url you automatically come to this page mm -hmm. so uh there's no uh introduction and you know uh you can speak on this there has to be a flow to it mm -hmm. you know i agree i, I want to know let me let me see. Now, this is what I was talking about. We talked about earlier about that when I the last time we talked, we talked about bounce rate. Mm -hmm. Bounce rate is important because it allows you to understand how much time people are spending on your website. Again, yes. If they are on your website for a small amount of time, and I think the last time I said five to eight minutes or something like that is a good kind mm -hmm. of time. Uh, if they're only on your website for about 30 seconds, that's going to cause your bounce rate to be very high. That means they're not spending time on your website. 
you want people to, if this page had an introductory, you know, uh, I think Apostle or somebody said, what is it, a product or a service? If you got that introductory page, sort of a brief summary right off the bat, they could kind of read. Not nothing really long, but they could kind of say, okay, they'll read this little uh, small summary and, and they'll get a full understanding. Mm-hmm. Let me say this, what I'm searching for, for those who might not kind of understand what we're, uh, what we're doing, um, or what we're talking about as far as the, the bounce rate. I'm going to put this link in. This is for everybody. Um, you can actually add your website inside Google Analytics. This is the right. website here. Um, and what I have right on my phone is the Google Analytics app. So yeah. you actually can you actually can um you you can hold on let me yeah you can uh add this this link right here you can add as many websites as you like on inside your analytics right. and this would allow you to see how many users come on the website uh you can see the bounce rate that he's that he's talking about it's super important Mm -hmm. where the trap where the traffic comes um like i know for like i have uh, my christian business owners i have a christian business owners website cbo summit and i'm able to see uh what days people normally comes on that site because i have a, a summit coming up so i need to understand this information so for those who you have events you have products you have services you need to know hey where who's seeing your website and the great thing about google analytics it'll even allow you to see um what devices they're on exactly and that's super mm -hmm. uh, that's super important because we're talking about strategy again oh you yes have, to have a strategy yes. going into this yes you have a website and and and, and your focus most people are focused and i won't say most a lot of people are focused on sales Mm -hmm. You cannot generate new leads without analytic information. Analytic information allows you to make adjustments to what it is that you're put, putting on the website. For example, uh, let's just say your uh, let's just say your bounce rate is high for uh, a week. Well, you need to understand why is my bounce rate so high? What are people looking at or what's causing my, so you got to figure that out. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe people are not going to uh, your website on a, a computer. They're going to it on a, on a uh, cell phone, mobile. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're doing it on a tablet. How can you find a balance to get people on uh, engaged on your website on the computer? Because mm -hmm. I think when you're on a computer, you see more. A phone is kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, sis? It's a more condensed version of the yeah. website. So for me, I can show you guys what it looks like. Hold on. I'm on, I'm in mine right now. Let me show you guys. Cause someone asked about the process. Um, so I, I want to show you guys. Um, here's one that I have for Loma Creator Services. Uh, this is for uh, the last seven days. This is a whole database that you can actually put in what you want it to look like. As you see right. here, I have 60% mobile, um, but you can see the numbers down. That means I had more people that came the last week, the last week on mobile. And now right. um, there's a, there's a, there's actually an, a decrease. But what I do even from that is now my posts, I change my strategy that I could do more posts that can go to certain, um, certain pages on my website. This right here, um, now I have seven <laughs> websites. I have one that's for my client base, my Loma CS.biz, where it's a portal just for my clients. But then I have one that's Loma Creator Services that has a little bit of everything where you can schedule appointments. Um, it's like more of the corporate website. Um, but this one here, sure. you see that um, you can see 
it, it lets you know how many page views per per page. Here's my scheduled appointment page. I have a website development page. I have a services page. I have a tech product page. Uh, you'll see all of these. And this is what you can set up through your analytics because it will give you an option. It will, it will let you know what you what decision you need to make for your business <laughs> and for your website. Uh, so you'll see here, you can see a mobile overview. Um, I mean, Google Analytics is like amazing. Uh, I mean, you can, you can see where they coming from. <laughs> uh, you guys can see here where they coming from, how many people did a tablet, how many people did desktops, how many people did mobiles. Um, it's, it's really good. I think we should do like a training with you guys be uh, uh, okay with the training. I think we should do a training on it for those who don't know what that looks like and what decisions right. you can make just with the data. I think um, uh, about to say yes. Yeah, just yeah, the demographics the and even just the interest. You can you can know the interests of the people uh, you know that our view on your website it's, it's 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 amazing it's amazing of what data uh you can find just by um just by analytics of your website and you can do like i said you can do it, it lets you know how many new people comes in on your website uh their language <laughs> how many new people how many Word. returning yeah like i know over the last how many people can say they know how many new people do you know the percentage of the new people that came on your website like i know within the last seven days i had a percentage of 28 percent 28 point six new visitors that came on my website 71.4 percent of within the seven days you guys just saw within seven days within seven days um I knew that over 71.4% 70, of people were returning visitors. So people who purchased, yeah, who came before they purchased or they came back to schedule an appointment. I know all of these. I know their language. Um, and I'm able to, I'm able to communicate with these people. I'm able to have, a, I can make business decisions and I'm that's, able to grow. So I think that matters. That's part of uh that's that aspect of it is as part of the daily operations. Yep, yep, yep. This, this is the information that when you are an entrepreneur, you're probably gonna get up really early in the morning, or you're probably gonna go to bed really late because this information allows you to have a jump on your day. Mm -hmm. this, this information is vital. Because as you're going throughout the day, you'll be able to make key adjustments on the fly. Mm -hmm. It's very productive. And not only is it very productive, but this is the thing. You're going to generate better leads. Yes, and that's it. You want to most definitely generate better leads because I don't know uh, if we talked about this the last time, but it's super important to get people off social media and on to your website and i call that mm -hmm. uh, i call that drive the traffic home you drive that traffic mm -hmm. you have the ability to drive that traffic to your website you want people on that website and engage as long as they're on social media they have no idea what's going on on, on your website mm -hmm. drive that traffic home. home is the base okay home is where you I love that. I love to, that. Listen, you go to the I house. I love that. I love that. At the end of the day, where do you go? You go to the house. Yes. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is you want to get people off of social media and to the house. Because this is where the bulk of your content is. See, they're only getting a sample. They're getting a share. They might get a, a update, a photo. But when they actually go on your website, they're getting a full look at what everything you offer you know, uh, your, your your service. You might uh, have, uh, for, for uh, Katara, she has the, the book, she's an author. They get a full glance of all of that. So now you're talking about, well, let's get them to stay on the website for a certain amount of time. And again, in Google Analytics, you can set the time. You can set that time. 
I want mm-hmm. people to be on the website for X amount of time before I go into the, the bounce rate. All of that is within that application. And uh, if you want to learn, we should most definitely teach a class. And I think that once you understand those analytics, you'll start looking at how you interact with people, yes. what you put on your website, yes. your verbiage. Your verbiage is huge on your website. It allows you to communicate effectively what your message is. A lot of people don't know how to communicate what their message is. Um, you are, uh, Katara again, I don't want to jump on her, but your author, communicate that. Communicate that through your design. Communicate that through your website that you are author. Uh, show, you showcase, the website is, a, is a actually a place for you to showcase your mojo is what I like to call it. <laughs> showcase your mojo. When people come in there, showcase it. Show them what you're working with. Show them that you have exactly what you say you have. Because a lot of times people say, hey, I do this and I do this. When you go to their website, it don't it don't kind of line up. That would be like Bernie saying, yes, I offer all these services. And then you go to a website and she's just selling chicken. Mm-hmm. And then on the last page is, you know, she got a couple of services. Yo, show off, show your thing. That's what God gave it to you for, to show, show the world, introduce it, let people come in and uh, digest it, receive it. Let's get it. I love it. Um, I also want to share, um, I've been, while you were talking, I was also scrolling again on Mink page and I see that, um, I want to say just to contact us page two, I see there are ways to connect with you through social media and email, but I would love to see like a contact um, form or something where I can connect with you or if this email can be clickable for the average person, if it's not clickable and can take me right there, I'm not going to copy and paste and then go to my email um, to, to email you. Um, so oh, yeah. I, I know for me, I, I know if I don't do that. I try not, unless I really got to have this service. If it's somebody I don't know, I, w- I would just prefer to just click it and and it, it takes me there. Just those simple steps, you'd be surprised, you know, can gain you business just by those, um, you know, those simple steps. If, if you go back to that, that portion of the page where you were talking about the contact form, mm-hmm. uh, that portion right there, I'm going to just touch on that just a little bit. Mm-hmm. We're talking about um, we're talking about branding. We're talking about uh, brand identity. We're talking about functionality. Functionality plays a major role. Listen, somebody will leave the website because there's not some function to it to where I don't have to do all these extra steps. Again, if you have that form on the website, it's easy for them to type in that information, hit submit. You get an email and we can keep it moving. When you start getting to, uh, it's an inconvenience. It's just like the uh, gas station. Late at night, your wife is pregnant. She wants some ice cream. You can run into the gas station and get the ice cream because you know they have it. It's it's in a particular section. You grab the ice cream and you get it and you go. Same thing with the website. Make it convenient for users. Make it easy. When you make it difficult, people lose interest. And we, again, talked about the eight-second rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I agree. Eight seconds. Like, that's the first thing I saw. Like, okay, well, contact. How how can we stay? How can we connect with her? Um, And definitely. So... this. Hold what on. you want to say? Ooh, what you want to say? Look at he. Go ahead, God. Oh Lord, here we go. I gotta write this down for my, myself. Hold on. Clickable. Oh, go ahead. Clickable action. You need people to come to your website and take action. Where oh, are the buttons? Where are I love the buttons? That. Make people click on stuff. Mm-hmm. People love to click That's on true. stuff. Click on the phone all day. Give them something to click on. Guide them. Guide them from the beginning of your website to where you want them to be. If they start on the home page and you want them mm-hmm. to send you an email, guide them. Hit use buttons. Mm-hmm. Make them do something. Make them sign up for a newsletter. Make them sign up for a rewards program. I know that on my website I have that on the welcome page. Sign up. When you enter the page, you got the option to either enter the page or you can sign up for the rewards. A little form mm-hmm. pops up. 
that's making them take an action. Because if they just scroll in, that's going to kind of make them lose interest. But when you got buttons and stuff all over the place and you can click over here, you can click over there, that's that drives them. You're driving the traffic home, remember? You got to drive them somewhere. You want to either drive them to contacting you. You want to drive them to your products page. You want to drive them to uh, finding out more information about a certain product. You mm -hmm. want them to take action while they're on your website. Okay, that's I'm there. Boom. Yeah, I mean that's that's true. You 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 want them to be engaging. Uh, so definitely, definitely, I I can I can vouch for that. You want to make sure that you're you're allowing them to do something. Um, and yeah, but I like the fact that though she does have um, a, a newsletter, um, you know, that is, that's good. Uh, but it's, if you can, if you can at all possible, kind of like move that newsletter up a little bit. Hold on, let me share the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, she does have that where you can get the email, um, but just make sure you kind of do that in the, be in the beginning somewhere, maybe under here, maybe under a little bit of the products um, would be good. So you don't lose anyone uh, who pops, possibly may be on the mobile phone. The thing about the mobile phone, people can just scroll and it's quickly there. It's right there at your face. Um, but then uh, if you can get them right there, right then while they're visiting a the site to add in your, uh, their email, that's a plus. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question, sis. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you feel about those uh, pop-ups? No. Pop-ups on, on the mobile phone. Uh, well, the thing about pop-ups, uh, it serves its purpose. Don't get okay. me wrong. Pop-ups are, and I'm glad you you I'm glad you mentioned that. Pop-ups are actually okay when it comes to say you got a new product that's coming out and you really want to gather some emails. It's really quick if that's your strategy. Say you have a month or two month strategy to gather uh, emails and you can load that email up with the discounts that you have, or you have a strategy. If you have a strategy, right. then that's good. But to consistently keep that pop up it's actually not good for your website it's actually it actually slows your website down so that pop a pop-up slows the generation the generation of your the loading of your website absolutely so but yeah. somebody made a comment i uh, just said the site site is nice so so one of the things that I talked to uh, Arena about, and this is a good friend of mine, uh, is um, the flow. And I want to get your input on this, sis, sis uh, about the, uh, the, the, the flow of the uh, product on the page. A consistent look. Mm -hmm. uh, having a consistent look across the board uh, where one picture looks this way, then the next picture looks, you know what I mean? Just having a flow. Uh, yeah. Imagery is what I'm trying to get to. Sis. Yeah, yeah, that that matters too. I, I that definitely matter. What I look for too, not just as a designer, but when as a consumer, um, if I'm looking for something, I'm looking for that right then and there. I don't want to go all over the place to get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so consistency right. also is good, but also make sure that you're consistent with the information. Like, for instance, we, we were talking right. about Katara or the mink. You know, if, if that's what you're selling, that's what I want to see. I want to see that right there. Um, or you can always have a service page. Like for us, we do a little bit of everything. Whereas a service page, you can see different services there because we don't do just one or two things. But however, if you have... Yeah you know you have a service i like to i would like to see that there i would like to see okay this is it because especially if you're selling something you're selling something i want to be able to go to it and like you said do something i want to be able to go to it click on it purchase it boom add in my shipping address i'm going to get it such and such time and i'm and i'm out right. i like to i like Absolutely. to see that um all right, so for the sake of time let's scroll we do have this uh website upper room i actually like the site don't you like the okay. site? I like, yeah, I like, yeah. I like the site. The upper room. In the upper room. Y'all remember that? What's that? Was it Mahalia uh, Jackson? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so, I actually like this. I, I, I would have liked to, to see like the it. logo kind of in the 
in up in the like the branding in the at the top or something, but um Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Um also, the logo and the uh, mission is not until here. Right. Yeah, I would have liked to see that at the top. That should have been a you know, and I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do, but I would have made that a tab. Uh and yeah. then had a stump. So, yeah. you know, uh and I probably would have put that under about us. So that it would be the flow. So you got you click on about us and then it would have dropped down to our mission, our vision, you know, your scripture and you know, uh you know, the biography of the pastor or the, the bishop or whoever is the residing. Yeah. There it is. There it you know is. Yeah. I like it. I actually I like it though. It's I mean it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what is that at the bottom where it says is that does that say donate? Yeah, they got a PayPal um, um, HTML code. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, those are like little HTMLs. Yeah, I probably would have rather see a button than than yeah. Than... Well, those are uh, those those uh, PayPal buttons. Oh, okay. Yeah, PayPal a lot for some reason. Well, I don't think I'll update it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and that's that's really set in stone, actually. PayPal does that. Oh, wow. But I yeah, think I like this... But this looks like it can be a WordPress. It may be. But it looks... I'm not sure. No, it's not. So it's a templated... Um, I was going to say, if so, then... It got to be like maybe like a plugin that probably can be used versus the button for um oh, okay. it's a way that you can go around doing it yeah yeah but yeah. for but the most part is it's cool straight to the point COVID nineteen service announcements yeah, yeah. um we like it stay we like it uh Pastor Barry it's a nice website yeah Pastor Barry. Yeah. Maybe your social you got, media can be a little bigger. I didn't realize you guys had social media pages until I'm just thoroughly looking at it and I see the social media up. Y'all are quiet. Pasta, where you at? What do you think about the website? But yeah, here's their social media pages. See, I didn't well listen, that could have been your banner of your website. Yeah, it really could have been. Mine is the I well, I was gonna say mine is the dove, but the dove is already in your logo. Yeah, I would have said minus the gradient. Not is that gradient? No, no, that's um. It looks like a drop shadow or something. I really don't. Here's another thing too. I would love to see websites uniform with their social media. Absolutely. Because that kind of like, I just left the website, but I'm like, wow, I see this. This is totally different. If that's your color, you know, I want to see that over here. I only see blue and gray almost over here. When I come over here, I see a vibrant purple and silver. I don't see that over here. Right, right. You know, so. Yeah, you will, you'll probably, you will probably, uh, we're talking about consistency. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Across the board, you want the branding to, that's brand identity. That's, that's mm -hmm. where brand identity comes in at, is where people cannot mistake Upper Room Deliverance Center. Mm -hmm. They cannot, you know, when I go to the Facebook page and, and I look at Upper Room, I know that when I go to the website, I'm going to see the same uh, content, the same imagery. It's mm -hmm. uh, going to be consistent. That's huge. Like that, 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 when you scroll back up, oh, they have right there. Oh, they don't have sermons. Y'all need some podcast recordings. We can help you with that. That page is empty. What'd you say, um, bro? On a, on a, on a, on the home page, when you scroll down to the bottom, I really, that's a lot. Uh, well, I think that, this uh, is, this is, I think this is like a Roku. Are you on Roku? Um, oh. uh, it looks like That's it's dope. built. It does look like um, like a stream um, video thing. Pastor Barry, are you? It, it, I think it is because I have a partner. Oh, okay. 
that I have a partner through uh, Roku, and that's what it looks like. It's built like that. Okay. Okay. Real but on, media. But, okay. But on the homepage, if you scroll down to where um, I saw a picture, and I don't know if that's you know Pastor Barry or somebody else, but if you scroll right there, right here, that purple. You see that imagery right there? That's I nice. That type of imagery. Yeah. Why did you come on? The yes. Nice right and nice on on Facebook too. Then, if that's the case, yeah. that right there. Absolutely. Would be nice. It would it would flow I, right into it. All right, so guys, what do you guys think about this? Should we do this more often? I, does it help you by? Does it? I want to know. Does it help other people it, who are on? Like we have Daryl, we have Dominique, we have Georgette, we have Hi Miss Georgette, we have Arena, we have Mary, we have all of these. Um, is it helpful? Okay, great. And I hope you guys are getting great notes. Um, as we're discussing too, something that you could change. I hope you guys are thinking, uh, is this something that you can change as we're having this conversation too? Um, okay, so we we did that one. Uh, do we have another one? Uh, there are some other people. Okay, Daryl's is very helpful. Um, oh yeah, we have a couple more. Oh, hold on, let's move it, let's move along. <laughs> we done been on over an hour, hold on, let's move along. Let's keep it going. All right, so we have a few. And if we didn't get to your website, that means we are on our way or you didn't give it to us. Okay? Right. All right, here we go. And and while you're doing that, sis, I just want to say that uh, we have to be comfortable with constructive criticism. We have to yes. be comfortable with somebody else giving their insight and not getting to our feelings because in order to grow, this is the thing that I want to say. And I had a com this conversation with a good friend of mine. Uh, one of the things we have to uh, do and work on is being able to see our vision through other people's eyes as far as perspective. Yeah. Um, yeah. Feed feedback. Feedback is everything. Uh, you want to know what direction. You cannot do this blindly. Mm -hmm. Um me and uh, sis, uh, we always, you know, talk back and forth and say, hey, I like this or I don't like this, you know, or I'll shoot her something or, you know, she'll say, hey, what about this? That is what you need to grow. Mm -hmm. You need all of the elements. A seed cannot grow by itself. Mm -hmm. A seed cannot grow by itself. You need all the elements to help you grow to your fullest potential. So, again, I hope everybody is taking this in full stride and, and, and you know, uh, allowing uh, someone with a different perspective to give you some pointers and some insights on how to be effective, be efficient, and, and to really get what you have going on off the ground and in the air. Yes, okay. So we have, I don't think she's on. I think she left. I, Okay. I think, yeah, she's not on, but this was Letitia Evans. Uh, she does have a pop-up. She has, um, I see Arana says, already nice and appealing. Uh, she does, looks like she has a MailChimp uh, pop-up uh, where you can subscribe. Uh, rooted, edified, overflowing. So I like to love, I'll love to add you to my monthly email list where I will share inspiration and updates on my new podcast, Rooted and Overflowing. Hmm. Okay. All right, so you can add your information there, and here we are. Oh, wow. The colors are very uh, appealing. I would like to see that banner stretched out. Yeah, that dead space on the left and right is... Uh... Yeah, dead space that 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 uh, Stacy likes it, okay. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I, I'm not intrigued about the, the, the white space on the yeah. left and the right. I like to see it full. Yeah, full, all the way across. Yeah. Because when you uh, scroll, when you scroll on, the, uh, on your phone, that's going to, you know what I mean? Well, you know, the phone, it, 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 it's, it, the phone you might want to see, okay, Katara says she likes the pink. Um, yeah. On the phone, you probably won't see the white space. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, I like that she's um, she's monetizing her website. You guys see that? These are some advertisement ads. Right. She's monetizing her website. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. You guys know that you can do that? As people viewing your website, you can monetize your website where someone clicks on it and it takes them. If they ever purchase anything, she will get a percentage of it. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And um, I monetize mine. I get the option to, I get an I, I, I get an option of what ads I want to show too. So I want you guys to know. Oh, you didn't know you can monetize? Oh, yes, you can. I could show you, Miss Georgette. <laughs> yeah, and so like um like Juma, like for instance, um I had to deselect some of like the GoDaddy and stuff, the services that I offer. I'm like, well, I'm I don't want to then to go over there. I offer hosting and domain and stuff. So you even right. get an option. You get an option to select what you want to um, uh, to be monetized um, on your website too. So I think we we, we needed to do another webinar, like a more advanced one, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, Miss Georgia, you definitely can do that. So yeah, this is um you can see here. Um, so if you click here, uh, it took you here to uh, Adobe. So she's monetizing it. So and she's a podcast. She's a podcaster. That's amazing. That's oh. good how she did that. But yeah, she monetizing Adobe. Um. So here. And it's free too, guys. I don't, if, if for those who who don't know, it's it's actually free to um to monetize. You're paying. You're pretty much like a big companies will will literally pay you per click for those who if they click, say I clicked on there and yeah. I took it step further and got like a subscription, then she as a podcaster would get a percentage of of that. And there's no upfront cost to do it. You. Big companies will pay you just to have it right. stored on you. You hosting, and this is why I shared this. In fact, I did a webinar on this once before. I was saying the importance of hosting your own website because certain websites you exactly. it won't allow you to do because you're not the owner of the host. But because you're owner, if you know if you are if you're the owner of that website, you're, that's your, that's your content. That's your website. Other than, you know, you have some websites that won't allow you to do it because that's their website. But if you're hosting your website, you own that, that content. Um, it's so much that you can, it's, it's so much money that can be made just from your, um, just from your website. Exactly. Yeah. I, uh, this one just looks like a blog though. It just looks like, uh, yeah. Like a just straight blog. I don't. Okay, here's the podcast. So, were there any uh... receive Christ? I love that. She has okay, information. So... I love that. So, any, is there any products on here? She has tags. Oh well, it's a little bit about her. Okay. I don't know. I'm seeing like them see... ads. Yeah, them ads are kind of. Won't those ads slow the website down too? Are they streaming from a different source, or are they already one source that can okay. that can yeah that can manage all of the ads at one time? Okay. Um, so it, it shouldn't it shouldn't slow her website down. Right. I just would love to. See. I would love to see more design, color, removing the dead right. space of the white. Um, right. Or, or way if it's podcast, I would love to hear it, be able to hear it, like click on it and I automatically right can up. hear it. Yeah. Or I can automatically subscribe to it. Oh, like right. there it is. Okay. She did have, okay, I can click on it. Well, maybe that can be more visible because I didn't see that first. I really didn't. Did y'all see that right. first? Until I kept scrolling, and I said, "Oh, there it is. You can listen here." So if I can see that in the beginning, but here's her podcast. Let's check it out too. I'm a. I'm gonna subscribe. She just did right. one last month. Root of the matter: leadership during a pandemic. Hmm. That's good. 
Uh, why, why are you doing that, sis? I just pulled up one of my wonderful notes here. And you stay right where you are, sis, because, listen, she has that pink jumping off. If you're listening, I want to give you some very good insight on this pink. But pink. let me say the pink, though. I know you're going to say something, but this pink is not the same pink as the banner. And the... Right. It's totally different. Consistency. Consistency. But what I was going to say was, and I agree with you, that is kind of a different pink. The pink in that you see right now is, when we're talking about conveying a message, pink, it has a love, calm, respect, warmth, long-term, feminine, mm -hmm. uh, assertive, sensitive. These are key words that help express what your brand is about. So uh, I'm assuming that this brand or this uh, website is a, more for women, I would take. Mm -hmm. Like women empowerment because it's in pink. So you have to be mindful of who you're targeting when you create your identity, your brand identity. You have to be mindful of the message that you're conveying. So when you, you think of Pink, you think of Victoria's Secret, you think of Barbie, and, and so on and so forth. But feminine, feminine mm -hmm. is, is what I mm -hmm. get. Femininity, um, yes. 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 So, I think so you as a... Gen okay, so let me say this. Because you, because you said that, right? You as a, a male... Right. Do right. you do, do you not take on to her podcast? Does it are you would you be driven away? Don't you're not a designer right now or a creative director. Okay. Not a designer. You're not, not a not creative not a director at this moment. Just say you are searching for leadership because she does say her keywords is right. leadership because she has one root of the matter right. leadership during a pandemic. So say you looking for right. some, you know, leadership uh, information during a pandemic and boom, you see this pink that pops up in Google. As a male, not as a creative director, would you still click? How would you? No, nah, I, I wouldn't. I, I probably wouldn't click on it just because um, we we make we, we purchase things. We uh, click on things based on our visual, our eye gate, our eye mm -hmm. gate. Our eye gate connects to our spirit. It connects to our soul. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably wouldn't click on it just because. And 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 I know this might sound bad, but it's it's it's, it's pink. And I, I I don't nothing. I don't associate with pink. When I think of pink, I think of women. I think of little babies. You know, when the baby is born, they have pink on the baby, and the boy mm. is born, they have blue. So you know, all of these are and these are different experiences that we have. So some men, I, I remember uh, back in the days when I was younger, uh, the rapper Cameron, he used to wear the little pink fur coat. I just, I never really got into that, the, the, the whole pink thing. Hold um, on, pause, 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 pause for a minute. Because I think this is something, this is substance for those who are listening. I think we all can take notes now, like, and let the question be, hey, am I marketing or branding something to everyone or a certain demographic exactly because he just and, and as go ahead now i was gonna say now if this is the thing if it wasn't a bit if it wasn't because we purchased with our eyes you mm -hmm. buy stuff based on what you see so if it would have been a different color and then once i got to the website she would have had uh, something for the ladies, for the women, and then something mm -hmm. for the men. She gives me an option right off the bat. I'm getting shut down because while well, I'm I'm shutting down, and I'm not open to receive this because it's in pink. And maybe that's just. And I'm not saying that from a creative's perspective or a creative director. I'm saying that for most uh, most men, uh, or oh, a lot of men. Let me take that back. A lot of men mm -hmm. don't associate with pink. They just see pink and they automatically get turned off. Okay. 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 There you go, guys. I hope uh, I hope that was helpful for uh, most of us who are on and hope that we take that into consideration. I think, too, this helps also in ministry because – and I think – 
maybe her audience is pink and she's doing the right thing. You know, her audience may be ladies. I mean, and so she's definitely capturing the eye of ladies. But I think for an average small business or ministry, don't think about the whole entire audience. And so color um, is not really a, a conversation or something that's really um, pointed out in the beginning. So I think we need to uh, have that conversation and revamp, rebrand if necessary. Right. All right, so here we go. Um, I see, hold on, where? I'm looking for the website. Where is it? Where is it? All right, now we're going to New Advanced Academics. Okay. New State of the Year, one more time. Uh, New Royal Advanced Academics. Okay. So when I hear the word academics, I'm thinking scholastics. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying Education. to get to it. It's not allowing me to. There it is. I'm about to say it's, it wasn't sharing at some point, but there it is. Here we go. First, I just want to say, if you guys gonna use Wix, get the play the pay plan. I said that to a couple of people who wanted me to revamp their Wix, um, and redesign it. Um, any company that you use, do the pay plan. That way, you don't see their uh their right. brand. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're totally branding. Uh, and here, like, for instance, uh, this this site is not secure. That's what I mean about the SSL certificate. You can see at the bottom, if you click here, it says your connection to this site is not secure. Uh, you should not enter in uh, any in, you should not enter any sensitive information on this site for example passwords or credit cards because it could be stolen by um, hackers um, that's what I was mentioning in the beginning about SSL certificates how if I'm using any kind of Google um, sites like uh, Google Chrome it'll give me the alert that I'm at my own risk if I was ever to add any information on this site so definitely um, that's what I uh, what I mentioned and all right, you go, right. Juma. What you think? Uh, I, I'm kind of. I don't. I don't even like the design right off the bat. I just you. You kind of lose me with the 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 uh, a logo. It's kind of too big. Somebody said, "Be honest." Okay, I don't like it. I don't. First of all, I don't like it because it's not you. You're inside of a wig. Uh, that just that people are going to look at the top of the screen. We have a we have a tendency to look left to right, top to bottom. And before they get to the neuro advanced academics, they're going to see the Wix and all of that stuff. Um, the the uh, logo is a bit too big. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I would like that smaller because it gets lost behind the actual content. Uh, and now when you get past that well know, i'm going to tell you what's what that is um th that looks like that um that logo is in the background and it's not a um wix allows when you do photos you can have the option like this like you see this right. about us now right. that's just the cover photo that can uh that can be created and it looks like that logo is in the background so if if she he, if he or she were to uh remove that from the background and allow that photo to just be a banner because it's not a banner it's a right. um, yeah it's a background image but the banner yeah. would allow it to come up out um but i still don't i still don't like i don't like the low i'm kind of i don't like the logo though for some reason yes yeah, maybe if it was maybe if it was maybe if it was designed I would like that along the back or background actually. Neuro advanced academics. I I see the N, I see the A, and I see the other A. I just, oh, this I'm, is a one page. It's a one page layout. Yeah. Is that a, was that a brain? Okay. I would like to see some videos. Strategic planning session. I mean, uh, the the actual verbiage is there, 
Yeah. Just, the the imagery is a little bit. Yeah, I would love to see first a paid plan. If you if you do stick with Wix, um, you at least use the paid plan. Um, a, a whole restructure, I think, would definitely help. Uh, professional photos, like you said, the image is there. It's just yeah, the foundation is there. Hey, mm -hmm. sis. I want to say something about this, and I noticed this on a lot of people's website. Uh, you see how the 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 paragraph is centered in the middle. We want to we want to align that to the left. I actually like it in the center if there's no image. I do that no, no. to certain. No, I'm talking about like you see where it says drawing. It, I mean, it's kind of hard to. Where see. you at? Right here under young, okay, wait, wait, it's young yeah. scholar program, where it starts saying drawing out the genius in your child. I would like to see that paragraph, you know, pushed over to the left, not all the way to the left, but I'm saying. Oh, right. got you, aligned to the left. Aligned to the left and not yeah. centered. Yeah. That makes it easier for you to read from left to right, and I have to flow from left to right, top to bottom. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see that. I see that. Yeah, and I like to see the, like this, this image. You know what I think too would be good for this? Is, is to break it into at least three pages because there's oh. so much content that it's like, Oh, okay. You got the academic service. You got the strategic planning session. It's like a little bit of it. You got the young scholars program. I think I would love to see this like in another page. Right, right. In its own page. Now, okay. This is what I want to say. If you're going to do a one page, let there be a consistency. Like we said that this is the service. This is what you have. And that's your one page. If you have multiple like this, it's good to at least place it in another section. So that person that's viewing it is not as lost. Um, from my experience, a little bit of what, everything is here. What What I would like to say for, uh, and the and color. I, I don't know if I don't know if it, the person is in the room, but I will say this. They are. Dominique the things, Nancy. Dominique. Dominique, we love you, okay? This is the thing I would like to say. I would love to see a revamp of the website, and I would love to see, and this tab is, in, is just popping out of my head right now. I would love to see a tab that says what we do, right? Yes. Under the tab, what we do, I want. I would like to see sub tabs. When when sis scrolls back up, we can hit these sub tabs. Yeah. What we, do, what we do, and that's the main tab. Under what we do, we have the professional development program, the young scout. You're condensing it down to where it's not all over the place because everybody not may not be looking for the academic services. Some people may be looking for just a strategic planning set. And so you allow them to not uh, be overwhelmed with content. When you look at it in this aspect, it's overwhelming because it's so much. Mm -hmm. And I think that it would help if it was uh, paired in a sense of one tab and then sub tabs. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Okay, guys, you are quiet. You, everyone is quiet. What do you guys think? I, we, we still have a few others are on. Um, Arena, Dominique, Mary, Dana. Hey, Dana. Uh, Apostle, what do you guys think? What's your feedback on it? Uh, we're talking from a creative standpoint, but I would love to get you guys feedback because I think that's important because if they're okay with it, they're an average um they're an average consumer who's viewing it so what do you what do you guys think arena says i agree with the drop down option okay yeah i think that that would make a huge yeah. difference and again 
I have to agree with you, sis. The imagery. We need the imagery to to uh, have some type of flow to it. That would be awesome. Yeah, then the little girl with the ball kind of lost me a little bit too. I wasn't quite sure. Um, I don't know. It's just it's it's like a just a disconnect for me online. Hey, hey, sis! I just saw something to 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 go right. What you said. If you scroll back up, I'm finna point out. Uh, Arena said I don't see the logo. If you scroll back down to the little there's girl, there's the logo up to the top. Yes, uh, the little girl. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, that that we can we can share this with you guys. I'm gonna show you something really quick. Watch this. Where the little girl is, since you said something about the little girl, when you yeah. said something about the little girl, my eyes instantly went to Young Scholars Program, Advanced Learning for Infants, uh, age zero to two years old. Watch this imagery. If she would have had a picture of one of the assistants or somebody interacting with a child, yeah, that imagery would have connected with that. It's flowing. Yes. So now my eyes go directly to the child interacting with the, the specialist or the, the nurse or whoever. Now my eyes flow straight down to the wording. Yes. Now I'm like, what is, what is that about? Just, you know. Just now, I'm, I'm going to tell you what would really catch my eye. If I was to go to this website first and there's a video of actually this little girl in action with the, with uh with the team assisting that definitely that eight seconds would have caught me even more absolutely like you know interaction that i'm like oh wow okay let me hold on let me look at this right quick sis that we we need some video work right there <laughs> yeah yeah okay she says she says they have videos on on social media we and we add those videos. what does those yeah. videos look like I think this is, uh, yeah. uh, I want to put a link in with what that video looks like. Cause I think this is a training moment too, when it comes to brand. Cause someone right. has sent me a couple of videos before and I'm like, well, that shouldn't. Yeah. Drive them home. LOL. Yes. Arena. <laughs> yes. So, you know, if the, if the video isn't quality, don't put it on the website. Right. Right. Um, so I wonder who created it. If it was built by teens, being that this is a site for youth, it's good. It seems busy with the background, but I wonder if this was a way of showing off their works and ability. Okay. Well, right. let's, okay. Well, that's, well, that's, if that's the case, then yes. But let's see, let Dominique, let us know who created a website. Right. Then of course, we always love to support youth. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. But all yeah, right. I would love to see. Yeah. All right. Then, all right. So, oh, go ahead. We got. Oh. We have one more. That other people didn't give us their website. So. Okay. Um, I think that's just, this, this is, is good. One. This is good. This is really good. I'm uh, oh no, that's we went to that one. Oh, so okay. that was it. Yeah, we went to the upper room. Yeah, okay, so that's let's, it. Let's do, let's do something else. What really quick? Mm -hmm. It was not a teenager laughing out loud. <laughs> let's do something really quick, sis. This is not the you know, go to your website, go to my website. Let's look at the flow. Let let the people let the people see and then let, let's get their feedback exactly. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. I'll go first. <laughs> and don't forget right. to get that book. Sis, put up put that link in there for the, the marketing campaign. Yes. All uh, right, here we go. Here is here's my here's here's one of them, the Loma Creative Services website. The one that you guys um uh the one that you guys saw the Google Analytics for. Okay. Right. So you that is the um Loma Creative Services um page. So I am good with criticism, <laughs> constructive criticism. What would you guys like to see? Because even as a consumer, 
um, even as a consumer, I want to know, and even as a, um, even as a designer. I think Dominique said uh, some, uh, Instagram dot com. I like that up the top, sis. Okay, I see you. As the team. And when I was talking earlier about imagery and uh, functionality and flow, Portfolio. if you notice, if you notice, everybody's picture had that that same uh, color scheme in it. Mm-hmm. That that helps a lot. Mm-hmm. There's a blog post. Our blog posts. Locked in. I see you, sis. So, I mean, I, I love to keep the 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 actual color you know the right. uniform color turquoise is our color turquoise and um and white and black stacy said consistency of your green that's uh uh that's that brand identity that Listen. that gets that gets buried in your mind when you think about Lowman creative services you automatically connect that 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 brand with the the, the color. Mm -hmm. And that goes into uh brand recognition. I didn't mm -hmm. touch it, but that's a huge portion of brand recognition. Oh I see. Hold on. I see um she shared the Facebook. Oh I like that. You, oh, oh, the because the color, the logo. Yeah, she just shared it. Oh, oh thanks, Katara. Says nice graphics. Thank you. Now that that's hard. Would be nice on the website. Yeah, that would have been hard on the website. I like that. Yes. <laughs> imagery, 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 imagery is everything. Give your best to your imagery. Oh, Listen, that's, put that's that. Gonna, they go to video. Oh, now that would be nice on the website. Hold on, let me see. Oh, no, let me see. Oh, wow. I would love to see that on the website. Yeah. That captured me because I want to see what the little girl is doing. Right. Yes. That's that's the man, that's huge right there. That that's should huge. be on the website. Yes. That video should be the very first thing that we see on the website. With that graphic, oh my god. And then the other thing I'm gonna say is uh be sure you have customer um feedback, tutorial um testimonials, um yes. all the stuff on your website so that people can go off of reviews and yes, they yes. can kind of get an idea. So if you got a ministry, get some, some testimonials from members about the ministry. If you have a product, get some testimonials from the people. Uh, your service, get some testimonials. All of that makes an impact when people are, are on your website or they're searching or they're looking to make a decision about something that they want. Oh yeah, I have, um, I have one page solely for just testimonials. Okay, yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's dope, because they people can get an idea of what you offer, and they can kind of gauge is this uh -huh. service right for me based on other people, other consumers who are. Uh -huh. Uh, I want to use a word right here in this moment, and it's called people uh, also make purchases based off of somebody else's purchase, and that makes them kin, K-I-N. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to be uh, mindful about your testimonials, and, and Matt, it's almost like, again, brand advocacy, brand loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people become kin. Yep. And Oh, I bought that product from Bernice. And they'd be like, well, I did too. Now you've made a connection and you got two brand advocates. All right. Now we have 1301 Productions. Uh, 
So I noticed you got your introduction. Oh, yeah, the welcome page. You yeah, you got that first. Why did you choose to do that? That's cool. Uh, the welcome page uh, was created to give people the opportunity to learn just a small amount about what 1301 is about. Uh, I wanted to get away from everybody coming to the website um, and not necessarily needing the, or, or the desire for the service. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people come to your website and they're just uh, pricing. They just want to see prices. Um, so the welcome page is an opportunity for people to make a decision. Is this something that mm -hmm. I'm interested in? So I give them two clickable options. I give them the enter button or they can join the rewards program. Okay. I see that you, you have our, um, uh, your, um, your graphic design sample that you did your work. Right. And I, I feel free to give me some feedback. People don't, don't listen. Don't, let me know. Okay. Let's see. All right. Come on. Let's got, come on guys. Let's, let's, let's give them some feedback. <laughs> All right, so let's give them some feedback. All right, so, well, I can see your service is graphic design, so that's, that's your, you're, sh you're sharing your work. Um, introduction. I think I probably would like this right here. I like this right here. I kind of would like this in the right under here than okay. these graphics. Okay. I just would love to see this graphic stuff, maybe like in a portfolio. Okay. Yeah, I think I would just like to see um, that in the portfolio. Okay. Making a mental note. Yeah. Um, First picture on the home page is inviting. Yeah, I think so Thank too. You. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. I like. I want to. I want to learn more. So I'm scrolling down. Um, I love your graphics. Thank you. I, I mean, your photos is amazing. Like Thank that's you. hot. Yeah, that's hot. Thank I can see your work. Like your work is like bam. Products, photos. Um, I would like to see more video. All right. Because I know you are amazing with video, but the average person might not see. Oh, now I see the video overview. But I like to see that in the beginning. I like okay. to see that in the in the home page. Right. That's some good work. Thank you. Yeah. Like, do you have a video, like a video, um, Cause it's productions, right? So like, yeah, I like it though. What you guys think? Don't let me be the only one <laughs> besides Stacy that says the first picture. But um, your brand identity is there. Like, I see red. Like, yeah, I see red. I see white. Um, so yeah. I like your blog. I like the way your blog is structured. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. Images are the same size. I love that. That's a big plus. Thank you. So yeah, and professional, clean. The images are clean. It's a clean site. Thank it's, you. it's clean. Yeah, it's not all over. It's, it's clean. You know, got your color clean. I keep going to the welcome though. Let me go back to this in introduction. All right, cool. So I like it. I'm, I'm waiting on somebody to say something. Give me some feedback. Why, why everybody quiet? Yeah, well, everybody tired now. We don't went over. It's um, we, you know, two hours. Yeah, it says it really shows who he still is. Oh, we're still learning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It shows your work. Your work is like, bam, right there. Like you did work for NAACP. I think, no, keep that there. I think that will give you like kudos. Like, wow, yeah, he did some work for NAACP. Leave that right there. Right. <laughs> Leave that, bam. Right. Um, I think that would, uh, that's a plus. That's a plus. I like that. Uh, your work is there. I mean, I like it. So um, I want you guys, what I want you guys to do is leave us some good reviews. Go on our, our Google, re leave a good Google review. Right. Uh, search us on social media. You guys, listen, this was a free webinar. Two hours. Two hours? Um, yeah. Really? It's, it's almost, yeah, it's 1038 Eastern Standard Time. Your time is 938. Wow. I did not, yeah. I mean, it didn't feel like it though. Exactly. We were on for two hours. <laughs> so we need y'all to leave a good review. Go on our social media, 1301 and uh, uh, Loma Creative Services. In fact, let me put it on here. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, spread the word. Uh, if we need to do this again, let us know. I think this was definitely helpful. Um, I think this was uh, definitely helpful for those hope hoping that you guys can take the information that you learned tonight and make changes and not only make changes but if you need help please help. we're here that's what we do this is what we do let me find 1301 so you guys can find us uh we're also going to we have your we have your information uh because you register we'll follow up with you um as well i uh, appreciate it very informative great so I uh, will follow up. Any last words, Juma? Uh, I think the most important thing is to keep it simple. A uh, matter of fact, I wrote a here it says I wrote I wrote a couple notes. Simplify. Mm -hmm. Simplify. Uh, if you notice, uh, Bernice's uh, logo and my logo were were nothing outrageous. It was simple. It's recognizable. Uh, people can see it. Uh, they can identify it. Simple. You don't need nothing crazy over the top. You want to attract people's attention and you want to attract people's attention in the right light. Uh, I think that's huge. Uh, clickable buttons. We need some clickable buttons on those websites. Give people uh, a line. Uh, homepage, you want them to click on something on your website to drive them to contact info, to purchase a product, to uh, learn more, um, to share it. We want people to share it. So I think uh, one of the things we didn't really touch on is the uh, social media icons on the website so that it can drive you, drive them to other places. Uh, again, you want to drive them home, but some people want to be able to go. Some people might go, and since we didn't even talk about this, um, I'm sorry, you guys, uh, direct traffic versus referral traffic. Listen, we're going to do part two. Part two. Be quiet. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> part okay. two. All right, okay. whoever want part two, comment now, part two. <laughs> whoever want part two, comment part two. All right, part we, got, we got three. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. How can I schedule a consultation or one-on-one -on -one discuss rates, et cetera? Um, on my website, you can, and I'm sure definitely, um, Juma. What we'll do, we have you guys' information, and what we'll do, we'll um, connect with you individually. That way, um, whoever you want to work with, both of us, it doesn't matter. That's my bro. Hey, we, we good. You know what I'm saying? Either one of us or both of us together. Uh, definitely. And, and I think that would be awesome. Um. Um, one more thing, sis, accurate information. You said that, and I think that's huge. Having the yeah. right and on your social media page, having the right information on your website so that people have uh, direct access to you. Not having the right information could cause you to miss a, a, a lead, a uh -huh. sale. Uh, yes, it can. Problem. So I'm, yes. I'm I'm done. Sis. Be quiet. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been great. Um, we're ending this and I uh, wanted to just thank you so much, guys, for coming on. Uh, right. Again, it was great. 
Uh, and you guys have an awesome, awesome night. Thank you.